Education this year will introduce a cyber city bill. Primarily, my own experience and analysis working internationally on the African continent, uh, bringing certain sanity, uh, discipline, order in the cyberspace requires three categories of legislations. Once again, currently, and, and if you do analysis, it will come out clearly. One is the data protection legislation to protect personal information. That Ghana has. So we have the Data Protection Act, Act 843. Among the few countries, yes, Nigeria, for example, recently passed one. Then there is also cyber crime oriented. Let me explain. There's a crime, cyber crime oriented legislation. Here, the scope is criminalization of offenses. Okay? Which we also have. Because initially, the concerns were not really to develop a cyber city ecosystem. It was really dealing with what? The crime arising from the development of ICT. So in 2008, Electronic Transaction Act, Act 772, was passed. And I must compliment those who developed the legislation. Even though the law is more than 10 years old, it's considered one of the best you know, legislation with respect to the criminalization of offenses. Indeed, Ghana could not have been able to ratify the Budapest Convention if we did not have that legal instrument in place. It is not true. Sometimes people make commentary on the internet that Ghana has not got a cyber crime law. Please, let's take this as part of our awareness creation. Data protection, good. Our cyber crime legislation is good. Indeed, section 123 of that particular bill, you can use it to criminalize every traditional offense that is committed in the cyberspace. Permit me, that is my speciality. My doctorate in PAD uh, is in admissibility, cyber crime legislation. And I've dealt with the Supreme Court judges. I've trained them. We work together, the High Court judges. So it is not true that Ghana does not have a cyber crime legislation. However, the problem was the understanding of the criminal justice actors in the law, which has been there for about 10 years, and how they are to operationalize them is the issue of awareness creation capacity building rather than assistance of a legal instrument to criminalize a cyber behavior. Now, what is missing is essentially a legislation that is more developmental oriented. Where is a cyber security what? So the requirement for a risk management framework for critical information information sector is key. The telcos are our backbone. The financial sector, our defense, e-government, paperless port, mobile money interoperability. So criminalization means that if somebody compromises, gains access, unauthorized access into any of those critical systems, Yes, you could be uh, sentenced. But what are the laws that seek to develop a certain best thinking, cyber security wise, to promote a health development of that ecosystem? That is why the ministry is introducing a cyber security bill. So it has a number of brilliant uh, components, which we will also present at appropriate time. So the development of the cyber security ecosystem is one. R&D is key, protection of critical information infrastructure, establishing an authority that will have the power to regulate the cyber security ecosystem. Respectfully, if you are a provider of service in cyber security in this country, when the law comes into pass, you will be required to register and to have a license to operate.